Joe Tessitore and Robert Smith for ESPNChicago.com focused in on one of the stars in recent years in the Big Ten, Denard Robinson. Gil Brandt, former NFL executive, draft guru, always likes to proclaim his thoughts and pontificate and opine as to how a prospect projects going forward. He came out recently with a comment about Denard Robinson, the Michigan quarterback, slash, slash, and said that I would draft him as a cornerback. What do you think? Well, I don't know what he's seen on the practice field that's made him think that he can make that transition immediately. But I think it's interesting to think about him and the prospects of playing a little bit of defense. Now, clearly, if he does move to the defensive side of the ball, that's the only position he's going to be able to play. He doesn't have the size to play safety. He's certainly not going to play a linebacker or anywhere along the defensive line. But I would draft him as a pure athlete, as a pure prospect, and more than likely try and put him in one of these new spread offenses that we've seen with Seattle, uh, we've seen with San Francisco, we've seen with uh, the Washington Redskins. I think you're starting to see the spread move more into professional football. You line him up in the backfield, you line him up as a wide receiver. He's such a versatile athlete, and he can throw the football. I think that adds a dimension of danger to him, gives the defense more to think about. Will he be able to make that transition to the defensive side eventually, or would they need to? I think maybe. It's possible that he'd be able to do something like that, but you can't underestimate how difficult it is uh, athletically to play cornerback in the NFL, especially for a guy that's never done it. The hip flexibility it takes, the understanding of route progressions as a guy gets 10 yards downfield, what's left in the route tree, all those kind of things. I think cornerbacks, very underrated for their level of intelligence. So it takes a lot to learn what they need to do. Before we start thinking about the pros, of course, Michigan still has a football game to play. One o'clock New Year's Day Outback Bowl against South Carolina. You can see that on ESPN.